is the ultimate question. Mm -hmm. If you are struggling, we are hoping to give you some answers right now. And joining us now, Dr. Sheila Raja, a clinical psychologist from the University of Chicago. You haven't had work for a year, two years, and the bills are piling up and they're stressing the home. What do you do? Well, I think the first thing to remember in this day and age, as you said, these numbers are getting all too common, is to remember you're not alone. And so to, you know, isolate yourself is the wrong thing to do. What you need to do is reach out to people and try to get some social support and keep talking about it with your spouse, your family, your friends, because it's hard. It's hard to go through by yourself. There's a financial toll, obviously, that people are concerned about paying their bills, but there's something to be said about the toll it takes of losing the structure of getting up and going to work and going to the office place. You suggest that people develop some sort of a routine. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, we know that when people are getting depressed, one of the things that they've let go is getting up in the morning and doing what they need to do. Some kind of structure in their life. So, you know, to have some sort of schedule that you follow, set some time for looking for work, but also set some time for the things you enjoy. If you had a date night, don't stop doing the date night. Just make it maybe coffee or a walk with your partner or your friends or whatever, but don't give up the things you enjoy either. How do you explain to your children? Yeah. They look at mom and dad and say, you're to protect me and you're to provide for me. And if the money's not coming in, what's the communication between parent and child? It depends on the age of the children, but it is important for you to talk to your children. You have to say something in a way that you don't scare them, but you say, you know, it's a stressful time. We're all going to have to cut back a little, and um, but we're going to be okay, depending on the age of the child. But that is a tough one, but you've got to do it. And Dr. Raja, do you have any final words of advice for people who do have jobs, but the job place itself has changed so significantly because people have seen their coworkers laid off. There's an insecurity at the workplace. There's so much more job stress with people doing more mm -hmm. and being fearful that's changed the whole environment at work. I think one thing to remember in an economic downturn is we've all got to take care of ourselves. You know, some kind of relaxation every day. Five minutes, prayer, meditation, mm -hmm. relaxation, something to take care of yourself can actually change brain chemistry for the long term. And exercise is good. Too. Yes. Fight your depression. Absolutely. Great keeps advice. You active. Thank Dr. you. Dr. Sheila Raja. Thanks. Thanks so much. Always good to see you. Nice to see you. So take